That's what I am. Tom remembers the first raindrop and the first acorn. He knew the dark under the stars when it was fearless. Before the Dark Lord came from outside. Hello, gentlemen. My name is Master Rolfus, and from the Death of Our Let's Play of Star Trek, um, not Star Trek, Sins of the Prophets Let's Play of the Sins of the Solar Empire Rebellion, I have decided that we need a, a good guy campaign in Divide and Conquer for Middle Earth, for Dirt Age. And it would be the Shire. The Shire, yes, the Breeland and the Shire. Yes, the Hobbits. We are playing as the Hobbits. Now, the Hobbits are a fairly unique faction. I did play a little bit of them. And I sort of dabbled a bit here and there as to what they can do. And so far, the Hobbits are actually a pretty strong faction. They have a good variety of units. Uh, a lot of them are militia, however, so it kind of sucks. They don't have really heavy troops, but they have a variety. And also, they have a really strong economy. They are really strong. Not into the Fangorn strong, but pretty damn strong. Now let's see if we can play as Tom fucking battle. I don't know about that. Uh, yes, we have Councilman lord. Andrew. Fuck you, Andrew. We lord, have my lord. Barlman. We have. <laughs> Look at his face. Just like oh, I just jizzed on my pants. We have Alfred. We have, yes, my we lord. have fucking Frodo. Where's Tom battle? My lord. No. Orders. Tom battle. Well, then again, they never specified that he was a hobbit. Anyway, so. Unlike our Mirkwood campaign, we don't have to worry too much about our early eco, but we do have to worry about our opponents, which are rebels. That's basically about it. We're fighting rebels at first. We're too far away from Mordor for them to attack us, and the nearest enemy person would probably be the Orcs of the Misty Mountains right over here, or maybe the remnants of Angmar that are over here. I'm not sure. Are these the remnants of Angmar, or are these the Orcs of the Misty Mountains? I know they share the same mountain range. Or do they? I'm not sure. Either way, we need to conquer some civilizations, and you know what? There's an orc marauder camp, so let's take that baby out. So let's see. A couple of archer militias. We have some Breedland militias. Over here we have Breedland hunters and lumbermen. <laughs> I can't get over that face. Yeah, let's get hobbit archers over there. Good God, Frodo! Did you ball shop or something? Good God, man! Okay, send these guys to Greenland. We'll make camp here. So well as these guys. Yes. Now we're going to have to have someone in Hobbit Town because I want to use Frodo as my general, actually. Manly Frodo, of course. I could take this guy. Can Hobbit build stuff? Yes, it can. You know what? I should really have uh, some chicken farming going on in these settlements, actually, just to go them out. So let's do that. Ooh, actually, I can get some military buildings here. And what does that do? Culture bonus. What's our culture? Middlemen. Okay, we don't have to worry too much. Smoking house. Spy diplomat. Do we have a smoking house? Currently, no. Oh, no. Yes, we do. Right over here. Yep, we can get a spy and diplomat here. So we don't have to worry about too about that too much. We also have an assassin. Nice. Fucking A. Let's see, we might want to get some good stuff here, actually. Stables. Do we have access to horses? No, not yet. Communal farming would give us increased food production, and we do need to grow out our, civ uh, our cities quite a bit. I guess we could get communal farming, then work our way towards getting maybe stables. We don't need to get chicken farming here if we're getting communal farming. Food production, yeah, that would be pretty good. This does increase population growth, though. But uh, that's a little bit interesting. Should I get population growth and food growth, or should I get, I mean, not food growth, food production, or should I get just plain old food production and go for a military building? We don't need an inn because this city is probably mostly middlemen. Yes, it is. Yeah, you know what? Okay. I'm going to go communal farming, then I'm going to go chicken farming, and then I'm going to go practice range. Could get a letter tanner, but I don't really want to here. Over here, we can just get land clearance. That will increase food production. And you guys can get chicken farming because you have no farms to speak of that I can build. Or they've been already built. Grain exchange. 
love to get that actually. The meeting hall. Hmm. Don't need that. Smoking house. We already have one. Yeah, let's get a drink of Grain Exchange. Why not? Old Tubby. Old Tubby. Ho ho. You know what? While we're on that subject, let's get two units here. It seems like we can't recruit any more units. That sucks. Whatever. Your orders, my lord. Let's leave the Hobbit archers here and let's move out Frodo. Taking camp here. Because Frodo's a really good general. Look at it. Yes, he has like three chevrons and one armor upgrade. Good god, that's good. Okay, who's our allies actually? Let's look at this. Allies, allies, allies. We are allied with Northern Dundane and we are allied with Grey Havens of Linden. We are enemies with the clans of Edwaif. And Waif. Yeah, there we go. Dunleddings, remnants of Angmar. But it's a rebel. So we're not at war with the Orcs of the Misty Mountains, so they're probably not near us. In fact, Orcs of the Misty Mountains are probably right around this area, actually, now that I think about it. So Angmar is probably over here. So we're going to be fighting against Angmar mostly and the Dunleddings, which I don't really know where they are, but we don't have to worry about them too much, I think. We don't have any missions. I guess we're just going to wait till all of our forces come to Bree, and then afterwards we're going to stage an attack on this rebel village. I'm not going to move out any forces here because it's very close to the rebel village, so I don't want them to get cut off. And I don't want the city to be undefended. Get chicken farming here. You better get those chickens, son. You need more eggs in your diet, more protein. You need to grow big and strong. Oh, there's a shower of Mirkwood. Hello! And here we are. King of Rohan is dead. Well, you should have had, I guess, a better lifestyle. Coming of age, Lotho. Hmm. After years of the finest tutelage and training, this boy has at last become a man in the eyes of his father. Did he masturbate or something? Like, did his father come into his room and go like, Hey, son, do you want some juice? Oh, my God! Oh, son, close the door. And the rest of the kingdom. Should this prodigal son release, realize his full potential? Perhaps he will one day make a worthy heir, apparently? Okie dokie. Your order. Frodo. Move, Frodo, move. Honor. Even though you have an incredibly deep voice, move. Command. Orders. As you wish. We can go no further today. Alright, so we have nothing to build here. Did we get the units? Or the units have yeah, the units have been built. Good. Alright. Uh finances seem to be okay. We're gonna get 794 gold next turn, which is good. And once all the communal farmings and the chicken farmings have been built for these various cities that I'm going to grow exponentially in my cities, which is amazing, actually. We're going to have to build a, um, a culture increasing building, actually, in the Rebel Village. Corsairs take Gobble Tuffless, blah, blah, blah. Corsairs of Umbar, I don't care. Dwarves of Casadum. My lord. By your command. Oh, there's a fort here. Yes, my All right. Lord. Your will, my no, I should actually build some watchtowers around the area, but I don't really think we need to do that. Oh, there's a Dundane village. Alright, so the Dundanes are around this area, I suppose. Yeah, they're right up against me. Look at that. There's the Dundane border right over there. Okay, that's pretty good to know. What the fuck? Are we at war with the Kingdom of Dale? No, we're not. Yeah, I checked. We're not at war with the Kingdom of Dale. Did they just declare war on me? That, that's pretty dickish. I'm not gonna lie. Let's say report. My lord, I bring an important message from your military advisors. The flames of war are stirring in all of Middle Earth. Blah, 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 blah. Still only rudimentary, while militias and conscripts are being levied across our domain, we still lack the equipment, logistical support, and command structure ne needed to bring the full might of our 
armies to bear mobilization and general preparations are on the way but it will still be around 10 years before our professional troops are ready to step into the fray while the regal organization and arming of our elite troops are and the implementation of our heaviest and most destructive resources may take another decade word shall be sent to you as each stage nears completion ah so it does take a, a long time before you get the really really powerful units okay it takes about 10 years okay wow it's refreshing to see that the Vale of Anduin is in the lead in terms of finances and not into Fangorn. What's their fucking economy? Selling their bark. Okay. Yes. Frodo, lead an expedition to this village. Um, yeah, let's attack. We shall prevail. Seven to six, Captain Lungash. Okay. Muster attack. your courage, men! Attack! We Muster your fortitude! Your courage! Muster your courage! Muster! For Tom Battle! It was, it was soon after Tangle's return that Sauron declared himself Lord of Isengard and began to give trouble to Rohan, encroaching on its borders and supporting its enemies, the House of Errol. Okay, we could have some trouble as it's 7 to 6, so. Do stuff at a reasonably easy pace. Let's just grab our guys and just sort of make a traditional line over here. Use our archers for the most part. Have our spearmen just defend the archers. There we go. There we go. Yeah, let's just have our archers fire for the most part and just kill them from afar. They shouldn't be able to kill us actually, we just have way too many archers. And archers for the hobbits and the elves are probably longer range. So we should do fine. Uh, let's move them a little bit closer over here. We can run them. Go, 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 go. Go, my Breland militia! Oh, these spearmen are really, really cool. Look at them. Look at these spearmen. They're so cute. Look how small they are. Look at my eight-year-old cousin. Okay, orcs are not moving forward. They know my plan. They know my story. Alright, let's move up my archers. While we move up the archers, we're going to move up the uh, spear militia. We're gonna have them walk, actually. Just so that I can save them some ex exhaustion, actually. Oh, come on. Let's just run and attack them. Oh, wow, you can already fire? That's good. Oh, wait, you just lost the fire ability. That sucks. Oh well. Still can't fire at us. That's good. Come on, just attack them. Just, just attack them. Just go in. Go, go. Hello, Mr. Archers. You're doing good. You're doing good. I think you're getting attacked too close, though. Oh, what? They can fire at us already? I thought Hobbits had longer rages than orcs. Are they orcs? Yeah, they're orcs. Dirty orcs. Okay, if we pull back just a tad, we'll be able to fire at them, maybe. Okay, now fire. Okay, can they not fire? How close do you have to be? Holy crap. Okay, Mr. Frodo can fire, that's good. It's good that Frodo kept all of his archery training from his sort of quest into Mordor. Right, let's, let's command all of our units to fire at these attacking units over here. Yeah, come on, pelt them, pelt them. These guys are ranged, so I don't have to worry too much about them. Well, why did you back off, you pussies? Let's 
Please don't stay in skirmish mode. Just fire. Just fire. Yes. Yes. Okay, now you guys can run. Greenland Militia, go! Go! We're gonna basically trap this orc looter here, which is good, so he fell for the bait. Now archers can go back to attacking. Alright, let's have this guy attack from the flanks. Yeah, stabby, stabby. Archers are going to focus a lot on these range units, which is good. Right now the orcs don't have that advantage that they always had over other armies, which is numbers, which is really good. They're not really utilizing all their forces. Look, looters. Yeah, we'll be able to get off a really good flank. Alright, archers, keep firing. Fire! Let's just attack this guy, actually. Stabby, stabby! Look at his swordsman in the back, he's just like, Hey guys, can I go? <laughs> he's just dancing like, yeah, come on guys, go! Let me in the front. I'll cut off their heads, and then I'll wear them as belt buckles, and then I'll cut off their testicles and spread them around all of Breland. Make a very awesome dish. It'll be orc testicle, but on pizza. Testicle toppings will be the hit thing for all of Hobbiton. Um, the Hobbits actually did eat pizza. Imagine Hobbits eating pizza. Like they just come home after Mordor and they're just like, "Oh, guys, it's sort of Pizza Hut. It's like five dollars a pie. This is a good deal." Got the archers though, just doing an incredible amount of damage. We basically went over this guy, guy down to nothing. We'll start firing at these orc looters over here. Because they're a little bit fresh. Uh, I'm a little bit winded here, that sucks. Remains. But I, I don't think that'll matter too much. However, it will affect sort of the combat effectiveness of my troops. Come on, just fire, just fire. God damn it, these guys need to die already, holy shit. Greenland militias are now balanced, apparently, which kinda sucks. Oh, they could actually lose. So what the leader is doing so well? For me. Keep firing, keep firing. Hey, Frodo. General abandons his men. Rally, 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 Mr. Frodo, rally. Good, now we can attack these guys. Charge! Charge for Hobbiton for the Shire. Okay, now we should go out. That's good. We chase them down now. That's a victory for the Shire. Charge, my elves! I mean, my my Hobbits! Charge! Whoops. I meant to do that. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Where do you smash them? What do you mean we're going to smash the enemy? We killed the general, haven't we? This is the lie. 
Yeah, he's somewhere here. Only a military genius can win this battle. But I can definitely utilize these guys a lot more effectively. I'll just move them to the left, I guess, and attack these orc looters on the sides. Or instead, they won't listen to me. Okay. Can I use flaming arrows? He, uh, not for Frodo, not for Mr. Baggins. No, he's too good for flaming arrows. He thinks they're cowardly for some reason. Cowardly! Ha! Ha 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 ha! Let's use flaming arrows actually for the rest of my units. I'm about to light it up with this bitch. Oh, here comes the arrows. Please don't burn my guys. Damn it! Did you see that guy? He was hit by the arrow just like, oh, oh god. He's but a flesh wound. Oh good god, so we really have to draw out for this long. And them orcs not knowing the concept of surrendering. Okay, fast forward. The enemy general abandons his men. This one unit has been attacking this one archer over and over again. Ah, there we go. Without him, his troops will lose their will to fight. Wait, so why did it say abandon his men? Hmm. What does that mean? Oh well. You know, it's always awesome to have an Archer General, because then you can just leave him in the back and he'll never be killed. Unless Nazgul Cav come, then in which case kind of fucked. Our men have taken control of the city! Yay. Oh god, the morale of these units baffles. It baffles me. Look, these five brothers are just duking it out. By the victory and finally. We won here today. The giant, like, I don't know, nine foot tall hobbit with the sword decides to kill that guy. Good job, nine foot tall hobbit. You are a freak of nature and an abomination to hobbits everywhere, but hey, you killed an orc. Now, what is this? Veil the Cunning. Well, I feel like this is bad. Victory! Alright, alright, alright. Calm yourself. Are these my enemies? What? Am I fighting them? Oh my god, I am. Okay. Well, mission was successful, and... We do have Norvin Dundane here, so that's pretty good. And they will have to actually, like, besiege this area, so I'm not too worried about that. Arrow Downs. Public order due to happiness, minus 20%. Public order bonus due to law, minus 5%. These no haunted crypts were once a sacred Numerian burial site in northern kingdom of Kar Dolan. Cursed by the Witch King of Angmar, the halls are now inhabited by evil whites who prey upon any who dare trespass upon the ancient mounds. Those who live near the barrels find it difficult to feel safe with such an evil presence nearby. Well, that's your problem. Little bitch. Alright, gentlemen, so I'm gonna end this part off here. Thank you guys for watching. And you know what? For a goal of this series, instead of like, you know, basically winning all of Middle Earth, you know what we're going to do? We're gonna take the hobbits. We're gonna take the hobbits to. I think you guys know what I'm talking about. Oh, not that place. Nope. We're gonna take the hobbits to Isengard. We're taking the hobbits to Isengard, gentlemen. We're gonna go to Isengard and we're gonna conquer them. And it's gonna be a, a long journey. But you know what? We're taking the Hobbits to Isengard. And after we take the Hobbits to Isengard, we're probably gonna go to Mordor and kill Sauron. Where is where is he? Where where is he? There he here, there he is. Hello. Hello, giant eyeball in the sky. How are you? Might need contact lenses anyway. My name is Astrophis. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.